Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. There was a time I had a heated argument with some of the brothers here on Facebook and basically what happened was relating to a rape case. A rape case. And clearly, rape case has to be condemned in all angles. So basically, when I read through the comments of a lot of brothers, what I just saw was that uh, they were saying something like this. Then you can do whatever you want. Walk around in the middle of the night naked. It's no problem. Men shouldn't rape men of the problem. So I try saying that no, that is it, it is good we need to tell men that they need to stop rape and co. And anyone who is found in such an act needs to be hugely punished. I agree with you on that level. But on the other hand, we need to remind our sisters that they need to protect themselves by the way they dress. Number two, also not going at risky places. And oh, they just came at me telling me that eh, I am trying to justify the issue. What, what, what? I said no. <laughs> But today when I watch the top G, I think he explains this better. So I have an argument with a feminist and she was saying that we need to teach men not to rape. And I said, my dear, I love how idealistic you are, but I am realistic. Men are already taught not to rape. She's like, no, they need to, we need to go and change language at school and rewrite history and do all the shit they're trying to do to make men weak because they think that weak men don't rape, which is another argument I want to come back to because weak men are the most dangerous men on the planet. Let's talk about that later. But I said, no. People already understand that rape is wrong. Unfortunately, human nature, some people don't care about doing wrong things. We should teach people not to steal, but they still steal. Would you agree that everyone says don't steal? The Bible says don't steal. The Quran says don't steal. Schools say don't steal. Everyone says don't steal. People still steal. So if I were to take a million dollars in cash and walk down the street at night in the worst part of town holding it, to a degree, I would have some responsibility. When I got robbed, the police would come and say, why did you do that? People would say, Andrew, why did you do that? You have to protect yourself from things. You can't just rely on the ideological hope that others, other people in the world are going to be perfect and infallible or that the law is going to prevent it. You have to say, no, I can't walk through the ghetto at two in the morning with a million dollars in cash. I take personal responsibility. She agreed. I said, then by extension, would you agree that the smartest thing a woman can do to prevent rape is not to sit here on a podcast and try and change the way men think and talk about your bullshit, but to take some degree of personal responsibility and not put yourself in dangerous situations. I'm not saying that's going to prevent all rape. I'm not saying that Rape is okay. Rapists should be executed. I'm not saying that every single woman who was ever assaulted could have prevented it. I'm not saying any of that. I'm saying the smartest thing a woman can do is say, this is dangerous. Going home with this guy I just met is dangerous. Walking through this area by myself is dangerous. Let me call a taxi. Let me call my brother. Let me go with my husband. But isn't that a more intelligent way to teach women to prevent themselves from being raped? As opposed to telling them, you can do whatever you want. Walk around in the middle of the night naked. It's no problem. Men shouldn't rape men of the problem. I said, what you're trying to do is illogical. What I'm trying to say will actually prevent rape. So what you're saying, when you're telling girls, do whatever you want, men are the problem. You're convincing women to put themselves in situations where bad things might happen to them. Whereas I'm saying, listen, women and men, look after yourselves. I'm a full grown man, four-time kickboxing world champion. There's places I don't go alone. Like I, I came here with security. That's called being an intelligent adult. So I, this is what I was trying to say. I was trying to say, you need to, women need to protect themselves and bear some responsibility to make sure they don't put themselves in situations where bad things can happen to them easily. I'd like to think that's a pretty logical point. No. Andrew said rape's fine. Andrew said it's women's fault. I didn't say that. I, I really didn't say that. It's completely insane. Subscribe our YouTube channel. Don't forget to share this video. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. <laughs> وكانوا قدوة لن